What's up, everybody? It's Kenny Cummins here. You're chilling with Kenny C in this holiday season. Hope everybody's doing all right, getting closer to the big day and everything. And I'm uh, very excited to be joined with my guest at this time, performing. He is a singer, songwriter. He getting into the holiday spirit, released a Christmas EP recently. Uh, we're going to talk about that and the year that he's had here in 2022, looking ahead to 2023. I'm joined with Mark McKay. He's with me right now. How's it going, man? Hey, man. So good to see you. Thanks for having me on. Great to have you on. I see you just uh, be uh, out there performing uh, this evening, or you just got yeah, people yeah. Performing? Actually, um, welcome to my fancy green room here. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm actually backstage right now. We um, are playing in a little town in Idaho tonight. It's the opening night of our uh, Christmas tour, and we're in uh, Dayton, Idaho tonight. It's a really big theater out there, and uh, we're getting ready to play out a whole new show, a bunch of Christmas songs, and some of my other tunes and then the uh, the stuff we just put out and it's going to be great. Awesome. Well, I'm glad I can have you on here just before you get on the stage. So I appreciate yeah, man. your time with your busy schedule and everything. No, no, um, no worries. Yeah. So, yeah. So let, let, before we get into the tour, man, I want to talk about this Christmas EP since that is the purpose of the these shows, this tour that you work at, that you are doing right now, um, yeah. Talk, talk about putting this Christmas EP together, man. So um, it was. It's funny. One, I love Christmas. I love Christmas songs. I love Christmas. I love the holidays. I, I listen to Christmas music more often than I probably should let on. I, I listen to it a lot, even in the middle of the year. Just puts me in a happy mood, you know. Um, but one thing I never wanted to do was just put out a Christmas record for the sake of putting out a Christmas record because it just seemed like a thing I could do right now. Um, so, so a couple of things were starting to come together. This tour was, there was some talk about us doing this tour and, and I always had this idea for last Christmas to make it a little more up-tempo and make it kind of feel like a, you know, have a little bit of like a Tom Petty feel about it, you know? Um, so I started to kind of formulate on that. And then um, my buddy Jeffrey Steele came up with this, this song that's now the single called Christmas Time is in the Air. That's really what solidified it because it's such an up-tempo, happy song, you know? Uh, and so once we kind of had it all together, then it was just a matter of getting it done because all of a sudden the vision all made sense, you know? And it's just done unbelievable. I don't, I, I, I'll be dead honest as an artist, I can't say that I was ever putting out a Christmas record to like try to, you know, change my life. It was just meant to be nice music for my fans to listen to during the holidays. But I just can't believe how well the song has streamed and how much everyone's connected with it, you know? Yeah. Um, so I've been doing talk shows for many years now, and I just started the music show, just playing music. And I'm having this yep. series going on called 12 Tunes of Christmas. Basically, it's just me playing Christmas music from indie artists, whether it's their spin on Christmas classics or they're coming up with their own yeah. Christmas material. Yeah. I've had a lot of fun doing that. So originally, we were scheduled to do this interview yesterday on Thursday, but um, of course, schedule circumstances have happened. Um, but I yeah. still did the the Chris, uh, twelve tunes of Christmas special, and I played one of your Christmas songs on the air. Uh, I cool. think it, it was the Christmas time in the air song. That was the one that I played. Yeah. Um, awesome. And I've been listening to the EP um, over over the last several days. Uh, it's always cool to to hear artists put their own spin on Christmas classics that we all grew up listening to um, and, and make it their own per se. Uh, this is a very fascinating Christmas EP. It, feel, it feels genuine. It feels authentic. It feels like something that you can put on uh, with your friends, families, and loved ones, and dancing to it. Um, so yeah, this is a, an incredible uh, EP you got there, Mark, and uh, I'm, I'm very intrigued uh, with this project. Uh, go get it. 
Christmas EP from Mark McKay. He is beginning his tour. So if you want to see this man perform these songs in person, it starts tonight in Idaho. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. go check him out. He got more dates and info on his social sites, his website. And, um, you know, get, get, get yourself in the holiday spirit, man. Bring your friends. Thank you. Bring your family. Bring your loved ones. Just bring anybody that just want to hear some indie, some live, local, and indie music. And hear the Christmas music that, that, that you're accustomed to. Just hear it from a, an indie artist perspective like Mark here. Uh, yeah, man. So with this tour, man, you know, with this being the, the, the first night of, of the tour, getting things underway, uh, how you feeling, man, getting on the road and getting the, a chance to perform these songs in person? Yeah, it's it's really exciting. I sort of, uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's appropriate time or not, but I'd be happy. I could, I could walk out there and give you a tour of the backstage and the venue and where we're playing if you want. <laughs> Hey, whatever works with you, man. Uh, whatever works with you. Whatever works. Uh, my worry will get interrupted cell coverage and it'll and I'll lose. But but anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. What 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 I will say is, uh, we my everybody knows that I kind of just straddle the line between country and rock. Uh, I'm so influenced by Los Angeles and the and the '70s rock and roll scene and. Not that I was alive then. I just love all the artists that came out of there. Um, and then, and then on the flip side, we go out with a lot of these uh, country acts around the country. And um, so our our show varies because I'm I'm always ready to change it based on whatever I'm inspired with. That's the beauty of, of being an artist. But it's been a while since I got to go back to the drawing board and build out a completely new show. You know, and that's that's really the most fun is to come out. We have every every song's new every transition every moment every guitar solo everything that happens in the show is is so different and um and it's just it's exciting to just play a new show you know so we were like you were saying and i was saying today's the night one we we just uh did our very first sound check everything was great and um i'm sure over the next 10 days that we're out on the road it'll start to you know solidify a little bit more but it's all really exciting uh for more info on the tour check out the website Mark McKay official.net and McKay is spelled M A C K A Y. Uh not yeah. M C K A Y M A C Mac K. Uh go Correct. check it out. And uh and i am got the uh the shows, the lineup, the schedule in front of me as he was talking. Uh it is the 16th. Of December, so you're gonna be in Idaho, you're gonna be in Utah, Wyoming, uh, and it caps off on the 28th. Uh, yep. And, uh, so um, we're hitting all we're hitting all these beautiful theaters out here in the in this kind of northern Utah, Idaho, Montana, uh, Wyoming range. You know, we wanted to. It was our first Christmas tour that we've ever set out on. And so there's just so many beautiful little theaters in these towns. So we just wanted to hit all of them. So we're kind of staying close for a little while. Okay. So, ba you know, basically, pretty much majority of these shows will be in a theater. You know, get that 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 theater atmosphere. Um, Obviously, yep. people go, go with bars or some venues. Um. And then there's just some artists that's willing to go the theater route per se, which is definitely intriguing, especially with this being a holiday tour. You're promoting uh this Christmas EP here. Uh so he he's gonna be he's gonna be out there in the the, the, the northwest uh for the next couple of weeks. So uh if you are in any of these areas, uh stop on by, uh get your tickets. Tickets are still available for majority of these shows. Heck, if you want to, if you're in the, in the Idaho area, go make your way there uh, right now. I mean, especially if you ain't got nothing to do. It's the weekend for crying out loud. It's the weekend. You know, you know. Let's go. Yeah, we got some so. seats left tonight. 
Yeah, yeah, make make your way through. Um, I I know I may have know a few people in Idaho somewhere. Um, so, yeah, yeah. So go, go, go to the, go to this tour, man. This 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 is gonna be a special tour, especially if you're into the theater field, the theater atmosphere. Hang out peacefully and enjoy these acoustic sounds or or a live band performance. It's it's gonna be a thrill. Um. Uh. For 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 Mark. Uh. And and while you at it, go listen to the Christmas EP. It is out right now on all the platforms. It's been out since um mid November. Uh. So go uh check it out. Very thrilled to have him on here. Just prior to the opening night of this holiday tour. Uh. And, and support indie artists. Support these artists. Uh, they will really appreciate uh, your support. Uh, so now that we got that, we move ahead to 2023 with you. Um, what do you have planned as of right now? Maybe some more music in the works. Uh, maybe uh, some shows booked for the new year already. What do you have on the horizon for 2000? Well, we definitely have. You know, we book pretty far out in advance, so we we definitely have shows that are going to carry us through the um, through the summer, which is cool. Um, we're going out. We're doing supposed to do some shows with Joe Nichols, who we love, and I believe there's a couple of Ario Speedwagon shows we're doing again, which we love them. We toured with both of those acts a, a bunch, uh, and then we're going to keep uh, we're going to do some festivals, and we're going to keep moving in. You know, this is our our first sort of headlining run in theaters that are this size, um, so we'll keep that going, but. Uh, I do think I'm at a point where I'm ready to start putting music out more often. Uh, you know, I've been writing for a few years and we've got a lot of stockpiled music and that's cool and everything. We're busy with a lot of things, but you know, at the end of the day, it's just, it's been so exciting putting out uh, my single summer slowdown that came out in the summer. And then this Christmas record, you know, it's just exciting. It's a fresh light every time it happens. And so we're going to, we're going to definitely keep putting music out uh, more often than not. Okay, that's, that's awesome, man. So you mentioned this is your first headlining tour uh, with the holiday show that's going on. Yep. After all the work that you have put in for years, being an opening act for other artists, doing small shows and things of that nature, how does it make you feel that after all the work that you put in, you, you are about to, you are moments away from the beginning of your very own headlining tour. That has to be yeah, a I, very big deal. It, it is nice. I actually just went and got, you know, whenever we tour, there's always a vehicle for the band. And then I just live for being out in the middle of the country in a pickup truck. I don't know why I always have. I've owned pickup trucks my whole life. And so we always ask for one wherever we're on tour, you know. And so I just, just before I got on with you, I jumped in the truck that I have. And I was just driving down these streets of downtown Idaho where we are and uh, in, in Idaho. And I, and I was just looking around at all the trees lit up and everything. And that was when it actually hit me. It's funny you asked that question because it was when I was thinking, I was going, gosh, we've, we've driven through all these places. We've come through, we've played to nobody. We've played to three people. We've played to bars and got fired. We've, we've opened for acts, you know, we've done everything. And so there is something very cool about, uh, you know, it was nice today, like getting, there's a great opening act. This girl, Katie Matthews is opening the show and getting to chat with her band a little bit. And, and uh, just see how excited they are to play too. It's just, it's a switch in the dynamic of how you think about it, you know, but yeah, to, I'm, I'm always very grateful for this. I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful that we have people out there that like what we do and that we've managed to keep escalating our live show to the point that we can move into a slot like this. And it's all just, you know, it's humbling and exciting and everything in between all at the same time. Yeah, it's definitely a prime example of hard work does eventually pay off. I mean, you, you put in the work, you paid your dues, you, you done, you've been through ups and downs as an indie artist. And to get to this point, especially end of the year like this, um, yeah. it's, it's the icing on a cake for, for you and your band. Uh, and especially you just putting out some music recently, uh, so it's it's definitely just a it's a prime example that hey, it can be done. You just have to put in the work. 
Um, you're going to go through. I think that, that, you know, one, we, we, I've always been a hard worker. That I, I'll say that out loud because I know I am. We work relentlessly at this all the time, you know, and, yeah. and, uh, I, I think in this business, it's not always, you have no choice but to work hard, but it's not automatic that you, like I tell people all the time, I mean, with a lot of sort of standard jobs, um, a lot of times if you do a great job, then there's a better job waiting for you, or there's a promotion waiting for you, or there's a raise waiting for you or something. And maybe there's not, I'm, I'm not, it's not true for everybody, you know, but music, you could work really hard and never, never get the break ever, you know? And so I, I do think about that a lot, it, that it's nice that, we worked hard and we always leaned on our live show. That's really what I was thinking about today when we were playing. I was just thinking how much just not only just the songs and the way we play them, but the band members and then also the technology on our stage and all that stuff. It's just it's relentless what it takes to get this far. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely, man. Um, go check out Mark and his band. Kicking things off tonight at the Dolly Performing Arts Center starting at 6 p.m. Idaho Standard Time, obviously. Uh, so you got a couple hours before he gets on that stage. Uh, tickets are still, you can get your tickets at the door. Uh, go, let's fill that seat, fill those seats up. This is first show yeah, of his own headlining tour. Uh, let's let's set, set the tone. Uh, Dayton, Idaho, or uh, Day Dayton, Idaho, set the tone for this tour. Let 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 these people know that hey, let's let let's show this man like man, we we're, we're gonna make this a a a big tour and 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 really really show out in tonight and support the these talented musicians. Um, you can check out the rest of the tour dates on his website at markmckayofficial.net. That's markmckayofficial.net. And check out the music, check out the everything else he has in the works. He does have new music on the way in 2023, so stay tuned for that. But for the time being, and with up being nine days till Christmas, go, go stream the Christmas EP. Um, it's available on all the platforms as well. Mark, you are a very busy man, and you are gearing up for the show. So I thank you for doing this interview prior to your opening night on this tour. Uh, thanks to your your PR and core, um, making things They're great. work here. Uh, shout yep. out to Anna and, and yep. everyone um, that puts together these interviews for me. Thank you, Mark. Great chatting with you. Uh, best of success goes out to you on this tour and going into 2023 as well. Thank you for your time, man. You got any final words to your your, your, your fan, your supporters out there? I just want to thank everybody. I mean, it's a, you, they say it takes a village. It takes a universe. I mean, it's it's unbelievable how many people are involved in what it takes to get it done. I'm not even going to try to name them one by one. So thanks to everybody, whether it's family or friends or people who have helped us on the road, or it's just people who have come seen a show. I mean, whatever it's all of you have helped get us this far. So thank you times a thousand and Merry Christmas. And thanks for having me on today. I appreciate it. Happy holidays to you, your band and your family. And be again, best of success goes out to you on this tour. You have a good evening. Have a great night. Have a great weekend. Have a great tour ahead. And I look forward to seeing what you have coming up in 2023. You take care, man. We'll talk again soon, man. Thanks yeah. so much for having me. Yes, sir. You have a good night. All right. All right. Take care. All right. See ya.